Christian man in England barred from teaching. Why? We'll find out right after this. Welcome to Ray Dog's Random Thoughts. I'm Ray Sean Blyden. Today's show is brought to you by Political Bomb Show Store. Apparently, facts facts doesn't matter anymore in England. Go to politicalbombshow.com, click on Political Bomb Show Store, and let them know in England that facts do matter. Why am I saying that facts matter? Because apparently, they, especially Christians, you should know better. You should know that God created two sex, two sexes, that's it. So when this man refused to use the preferred pronouns, he shouldn't have been barred from teaching. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. Let's get into it totally ridiculous. Christian teacher barred from teaching in England for showing PragerU video and not using trans pronouns. I applaud you, sir. I applaud you. A Christian teacher has been barred from teaching after refusing to use a trans-identified student's chosen pronouns. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. <clears throat> Had to hit, hit the cough button there. Um, unbelievable. Joshua Sutcliffe, 33, plans to appeal the decision by the teaching regulation agency, that's TRA. If upheld, the ban cannot be reviewed for another two years. He said he was devastated by the verdict. Based on this ruling, every teacher is at risk if they share their beliefs and views in the classroom. See, I don't know how England works. <laughs> So I don't know if they have First Amendment rights there. In their, I don't even know about their constitutions, but that certainly would be a violation of our constitutional rights here if that happened in the United States. Just like that, uh, was it a seven-year-old boy, I believe, or 12-year-old boy, who wore a t-shirt that said there are only two genders, and they made him take the shirt off or go home and he was sent home and they're suing so hopefully common sense prevail based on this ruling as i said each teacher is at risk for their views if a teacher had shown a recommended a video from a liberal YouTube platform would they have been treated as I have he said and obviously he's asking a rhetorical question because he knows the answer is absolutely not they would not be treated the same I believe affirming children who are in gender distress in the classroom is psychologically damaging for them I have to repeat what he said his quote again because he's absolutely right. I believe affirming children who are in gender distress in the classroom is psychologically damaging to them. He's not wrong at all. I refuse to go against my conscience and cause a child harm and cannot apologize for that. I applaud you again, sir. I applaud you, sir. He was dismissed as a teacher 
for gross misconduct in 2017 after allegedly misgendering a female student at his school who identified as a boy. I'm certain that when God made Eve, he didn't say, I'm making Eve with the option to turn into Steve. Sutcliffe then took up a teaching position at another school, but resigned in 2019 after a backlash over a video posted to his personal YouTube channel sharing his views on Islam. Legal issues with both schools were settled, but the TRA decided to investigate a number of allegations against Sutcliffe, including his refusal to use students' self-declared pronouns instead of their actual pronouns. Unbelievable. Saying he did not believe in same-sex marriage and allegedly failing to provide an alternative viewpoint to students when he reportedly showed them a video of masculinity by U.S. conservative advocacy group PragerU. A seven-day professional conduct panel hearing culminated in the decision to bar him indefinitely from teaching after finding him guilty of unprofessional conduct and bringing the profession into dispute. This is stupid. This is stupid. This is dumb. Given the evidence of the pupils that Mr. Sutcliffe had failed to use pupils as pronoun on various occasions and Mr. Sutcliffe's own admission that he had failed to use pupils as pronoun on one occasion the panel found that he was more probable than not that Mr. Sutcliffe, Sutcliffe had failed to use pupils a preferred pronoun in classroom doing teaching on one of or more occasions the panel said yeah I'm not doing it I'm not playing the silly game if you're if you're a male you're male if you're female you're female I don't care what your delusions are what your your mental psych psychic is I'm not going to play along with your stupid game it's not going to happen the panel therefore concluded on balance that the, by failing to use pupil A's preferred pronouns, Mr. Sutcliffe had failed to uphold pupil A's dignity and respect and failed to safeguard pupil A's well-being. Pupil A's well-being is not to have someone go along with their delusional psychological problems. It's better to fix them. Idiots. Stupid TRA. The TRA found that he was not guilty of unprofessionalism conduct in relation to his YouTube video on Islam. In its judgment, the TRA said that a prohibition was proportionate and in the public interest in order to maintain confidence in the profession. The ban prohibits Mr. Sutcliffe from teaching in schools across England. You know what, Ms. Uh, Mr. Sutcliffe, move to America. Move elsewhere where you're not shunned for telling the truth. Get out of there. That's what I would do. Commenting on the verdict, Mr. Sutcliffe said he had been mercilessly punished for refusing to change his stance. Well, as Christians, we are going to be merc mercilessly persecuted, that's for sure. Indoctrinating children across the country to celebrate and promote pride, to fly the pride flag is celebrated, but if Christian beliefs 
are raised or expressed in the classroom, you're faced with losing your career. I have been bullied and pers I've been bullied and persuaded and have had every part of my life scrutinized for expressing my Christian faith and biological truth. He added, Mathematics has be always been a great joy of mine. My teaching record is, exp is, is explicit, exemplary and I was always respectful to everyone. From the beginning, however, this case has not been about my ability to teach, but about me being a Christian and believing in the gospel and the Lordship of Jesus Christ. Andrea Williams, chief executive of the Christian League Legal Century, which has supported Mr. Sutcliffe, is calling on the government to act to end discrimination against Christian teachers and others in the profession who express similar views. This is a tipping point. The government needs to step in and re restore some sanity into the teaching profession. Similar action needs to be taken regarding the teaching regulation agency. I am very concerned by the way regulatory bodies are now punishing Christian teachers simply for stating the truth. Absolutely right. The Christian viewpoint on sexual ethics and morality is no longer being tolerated in the classroom and teachers who openly express who openly express it are having their ability to teach removed by the regulatory body. This is a serious and sinister this is serious and sinister. Removal from teaching usually involves serious misconduct and the crossing of boundaries such as teaching teachers having sexual affairs with pupils or some serious criminal activity. Nothing could be further from Joshua's situation. She added the TRA has targeted teachers because of Christian belief and do not fall in line with the LGBTQ element of PQRS TUVWXYZ moral code which will not tolerate any dissent. This is deeply deeply troubling and troubling is absolutely correct. I applaud Joshua and hopefully the government do step in and do the right thing. I don't know that I hold my breath for that but nonetheless I do hope that they step in and do the right thing because again facts matters. Facts do matter and facts are facts male female no delusional thoughts need apply here politicalbombshow.com click on political bomb show store and there you go unbelievable unbelievable you